name is Kyle Martin, and in today's video, I'm standing just below the milk house out here on the family farm, and I'm going to be creating a painting of the gambrel roof barn and also the granary that's right behind me. Out in the fields, the colors are pretty drab, and there's actually a bunch of ice that's melting today, and I just thought to myself that even though that could be a nice scene to paint, I figured that I would set up down here and go after the big shapes that are happening in the scene right behind me. Nice, big, easily seen shapes are always something that I'm after in my work. I love working with subject matter that has big shapes. It seems like the bigger the shapes, the better for me, because once I get those big shapes placed in, I can go back in with a bunch of different color variations and create a lot of interest within any one big shape. So I'm going to have my things set up with me. I've got the dog with me and we're just going to have a nice Sunday afternoon of painting. Uh, it still is pretty cold out for the year. We, spring is not here yet. It's late winter conditions and that's okay. I've been out plein air painting this whole weekend and this is going to be the last painting that I work on for the weekend. And even though it's cold out, it's a nice time of year to get outside and do some plein air painting, at least to get some practice in for the warmer days that are coming up. Let's get set up. Let's paint these big shapes of the granary and the barn. Well, the good news is I've got my lay-in done. You can see that right behind me. I've got those big shapes placed on the canvas. And the bad news is, is that I'm freezing out here. Um, anytime I'm in the shade, I get really cold as I paint. And so I'm gonna wrap this up and we'll come back again another sunny afternoon and finish this painting off. Hey, welcome back to the farm for another day of landscape painting. I'm just gathering my things and I'm getting set up down here below the barn. We're going to be finishing up the painting that I started the other day. I think I started this painting four or five days ago. We haven't had another sunny afternoon since the day that I got started. So I think I have a great start. In my opinion, this is a, a great starting point. I'll take the strawberry bubbly water out of my pocket. I'm probably standing 20 feet away from the barn. And that's given me nice large shapes of light and shadow. And that's what I have present in the start of the painting down there. And so I'm looking forward to a nice sunny afternoon of painting here. Let's finish this paint of the early spring light falling onto the granary and barn.
I've been out here for two hours working on this painting and you can see the finished product right behind me. Really happy with the way that this piece turned out. That door is kind of crooked now that I look at it backwards in the camera. I'm going to do a couple last things, but then I'm just going to let it set up and dry. And I'll take another look at it once it's dry and see if there's anything that needs to change in it. I appreciate you being out here with me for the painting session. One reason that I don't want to work anymore on it is that I can't really step back too far and look at it just because this shed that's right here is kind of falling down so it's kind of keeping me close to the painting and anytime that you're right on top of a painting and looking at it you need to put some distance between you and the painting before you can make any final decisions so that's going to come in the future I'll just set it down to dry and I'll take another look at it. It was a nice painting session out here I think the temperatures were up into the 40s today so after that long winter, it's nice to have some decent temperatures to work under as well. So I'll get an image of the painting in the video now, and I'll look forward to seeing all of you again very soon for another plein air painting adventure.